14 celebrities who lost it all. Loyal Taltanic subscribers, thanks for clicking on this video. I'm the voice of Knowledge Feed, and let's get started with the video. Number 14, Amanda Bynes. Nothing confused people more than when former Nickelodeon star Amanda Bynes seemed to be acting strangely in real life and all over her social media accounts. She changed from her usual girl next door look that she was known for to dressing more risque, getting piercings, and wearing wigs all the time. After facing trouble with a DUI and other driving problems, possession of marijuana, and a string of public behavior, it was clear that Bynes was not in her right mind and in 2014 was admitted into a psychiatric treatment facility. Since then, she's been studying at the Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising and is said to be doing better. Number 13, Aaron Carter. Along with his brother, Aaron Carter was a recognizable name amongst teeny boppers everywhere. How could we forget the drama that surrounded him, Lindsay Lohan, and Hilary Duff after he apparently two-timed the young actresses with each other? It was the stuff teen shows were made of. But as far as what's happened to Carter since he's reached the height of his musical career in the early 2000s, you wouldn't be the only one asking. In 2013, Carter filed for bankruptcy, owing $3.5 million in debt. Number 12, Katherine Heigl. One of those things that come with being a star is the diva attitude everyone expects you to have, while also simultaneously expecting you to be humble. Actress of Knocked Up and Grey's Anatomy, Katherine Heigl was said to be difficult to work with on set, which Heigl clarified that she was struggling and acting more timid amongst the gossip, only further propelling the talk that she was unpleasant to be around. In what she had been reported saying about the writing of her most successful projects, Knocked Up and Grey's Anatomy, Heigl's career took a dive for a few years after. Number 11, Erin Moran. If all you ever knew of Erin Moran was from her role on the 70s sitcom Happy Days, you're probably surprised to know of the turmoil Moran had gone through since then. On top of filing a suit against CBS with her co-stars for the network not paying them properly for royalties on merchandise, Moran was reportedly to have been virtually homeless and broke. Moran eventually moved into a trailer park where she was also kicked out of. She starred in a few things here and there over the last few years, though nothing has been added to her filmography since 2012, where she starred on celebrity ghost stories as herself. Number 10, Iggy Azalea. The Australian rapper was well on her way to a more or less popular career, with a few singles that played on the radio, working with T.I., and having dated the likes of Nick Young and ASAP Rocky, Iggy Azalea seemed on her way up. But after she said some unsavory things, a lot of it on Twitter, that many considered racist as well as sexist and homophobic, her upward trajectory was halted. She was constantly mocked for her rapping abilities, and on top of that, was hit with a sex tape scandal. She got into a very public fight with rapper Azalea Banks, with the two scrapping over Twitter. Despite all that, Iggy seems to be fighting her way back up, with her new album, Surviving the Summer, set to release later this year. Number 9, Cuba Gooding Jr. After winning an Oscar for the Best Supporting Actor in 1996 for his iconic role in the film Jerry Maguire, alongside actor Tom Cruise, Cuba Gooding Jr.'s career since then has been uneven in terms of success and prominence. Especially closer to the mid to late 2000s, it seemed Cuba Gooding Jr. was either going to have a well-received movie critically, or he was going to end up in some ultimately forgettable movie. A handful of the films he appeared in were commercially successful, if not critically, like 2002's Snow Dogs, but a lot of them weren't successful either way. For a while, it got people wondering what had happened to the Academy Award winning actor. However, he recently starred in the main role for the critically acclaimed series American Crime Story, which might just put his career back on track. Number 8, Lauren Socha. Most well known for her role as Kelly Bailey in the dark comedy series Misfits, which played on E4, for which she won a BAFTA, Lauren Socha could have had a much smoother career with her hot start. Socha played the heavy accented young officer for a couple seasons, having moved on to other shows and films since then. However, a scandal involving a taxi driver would put a halt on things for Socha, as well as a positive public image. In 2012, Socha allegedly racially assaulted said taxi driver. Number 7, Chris Tucker. The now 46-year-old actor was notoriously popular for his effective comedic timing back in the 90s and early 2000s. He starred in Ice Cube's classic Friday, the beloved sci-fi film Fifth Element, and alongside Jackie Chan in the Rush Hour movies, which most of us look back on fondly. 
Was anyone else surprised though when they were watching Silver Linings Playbook and saw Chris Tucker in the movie all of a sudden? Tucker has kept a low profile in the past decade. The energy he often brought to the screen has been lacking since he's barely been in anything. He's been touring lately though for his stand-up shows, so it seems maybe he's finally decided to get that energy back. Number 6. Mike Tyson You might not have ever realized it, but the former boxer Mike Tyson was once reduced to almost nothing. Just looking at Tyson, not many people would have guessed that this jacked up, fearsome specimen with a face tattoo had been sleeping in homeless shelters when he wasn't able to stay with his friends. He declared himself bankrupt for a while in the early 2000s. Tyson blames that period of his life for being irresponsible with money, spending the millions he had earned as an athlete and pretty much throwing it all away. Today, he's doing much better. Number 5. Nicolas Cage Oh man, where to start with Nicolas Cage? Along with reportedly not being very easy to work with, Cage is often known to have quite a temper. His career isn't exactly over, it's just been this spitting ride up and down over the past 20 years. He's definitely been a household name since the 80s and 90s, even though he dropped the Coppola part of his name, which more clearly linked him to Hollywood's royalty. Once the 21st century rolled around, his career has been a bit all over the place. From the ill-received Wicker Man to the National Treasure movies, it's really hard to tell where Nicolas Cage is going to come from nowadays. Number 4. Ronda Rousey One of the most recent cases of a star falling from grace was that of USC fighter Ronda Rousey. After coming into the game full force in 2012, Rousey became the first female to ever enter the Ultimate Fighting Championship and seemed she would always be the one to come out on top. However, after losing to Holly Holm in 2015, many say that Rousey had lost her touch and her descent as a fighter started right around there. She'd lost the title and needed time to physically recover, as well as mentally. It was upon her return, a year or so later after her match with Holm, did Rousey's career as an athlete take another dip downwards. She lost at UFC 207 to Amanda Nunez, less than a minute into the round. Now, she's retired from the UFC and has taken up a new career in the WWE. Number 3. Johnny Rocker He's pretty much fallen off the face of the earth ever since it came to light that the former baseball player was apparently racist and xenophobic, amongst other things. The retired player once played for teams such as the Texas Rangers, the Cleveland Indians, and the Atlanta Braves. During the early 2000s, he had a promising athletic career in front of him, which he ruined for controversial comments that he made. He did apologize, though his career was never the same with fans booing him every time he went up to the plate. Number 2. Randy Quaid When people say someone's lost it all, it most often means their fame and money, but it can sometimes also mean their sanity. Such is the case for actor Randy Quaid, whose face you'll recognize from the 90s classic Independence Day. The award-winning actor, on top of other legal troubles, refused to pay a hotel bill that rang up to $10,000. In 2010, he and his wife apparently fled to Canada to escape the law in the United States. His career has taken even stranger turns as he starred in the documentary Star Whackers, which focuses on a conspiracy about those in Hollywood. Number 1. Mel Gibson The fall of Mel Gibson seemed like such a long time ago. Recently, Gibson seems to be tiptoeing back into Hollywood's good light, having directed the Academy Award winning war drama Hacksaw Ridge at the 2017 Oscars. Gibson has had a long career that's got stories and controversy here and there, but the most recent and well-known scandals to surround the now 62-year-old star was probably those recordings of a phone call to his ex, which then prompted a domestic violence restraining order. For a while, it seemed it really was quits for Gibson's, until recently. If he's climbing his way back up the social ladder, Hollywood's shown us many people can. Thanks for watching this video guys, if you want to see more of me, go ahead and subscribe to my channel Knowledge Feed for some more videos just like this one. I'll see you there.